Hey my loves, it's Kaden Rose and I'm back with a couple verses of the day. So today's verses of the day are coming from the book of Deuteronomy and it's going to be from chapter 6 and 5 and it's going to be out of order. So just roll, flow with me, whatever you want to call it. So today's verse starts off with chapter 6 verse 3 and it says, Hear Israel and be careful to obey so that it may go well with you that you may increase gently in the land flowing with milk and honey. Just as the Lord, the God of your ancestor, promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. So I'm going to be going into the Ten Commandments today because God promises us a land flowing with milk and honey when we obey. So the title of this message will be about obedience grants you access into your promised land. Without obedience, you get nothing. Obedience is the key to everything you want in your life. A lamb flowing with milk and honey. So I'm going to start off with verse 6 from chapter 5 about the Ten Commandments. So these commandments is everything I follow or try to, we strive to. And if you fail one day, hopefully it's not at something like murder. But if you fail at one of these Ten Commandments, that's when you rely on God. You print and you turn away from it. That's what repenting means. Repent means to me, repent means, God, I know I might have lied today, but I promise I will do better tomorrow. I won't lie again. Like you keep doing that and God will give you grace. But you don't just say, oh, God's going to forgive me. He knows I'm a liar. There's a difference between falling short and knowing that you're going to do the same thing tomorrow and forever. So we're going to start off with. Uh, verse 6 that says I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt out of the land of slavery so once God brings you out of your slavery to whatever sin that is your sin might have been smoking your sin might have been alcohol addiction your sin might have been sex your sin might have been relationships your sin could have been lying everyone's looks different your sin could have been stealing and so he says, he brings you out of that. So when you he brings you from that, this is what you're supposed to follow and keep and impress on your heart so that everything may go well with you in your land of milk and honey. I love that phrase, that scripture. And so he says, you shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on earth beneath or in the waters below you shall not misuse the name of the lord your god for the lord will not hold anyone guiltless who misuses his name observe the sabbath day by keeping it holy as the lord your god has commanded you six days you shall labor and do all your work but the seventh day is the sabbath day to the lord your god on it you shall do in you shall not do any work Neither your son nor your daughter, nor your male or your female servant, nor your ox nor your donkey, or any of your animals, nor any foreigner residing in your towns, so that everyone may rest as you do. Honor your father and mother as the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may have you may live long and that it may go well with you in the land your Lord is giving to you. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covey your neighbor's wife. You shall not set your desire on your neighbor's house or land, his female or male servant, his ox, donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. These are the commandments the Lord proclaimed in a loud voice to your whole assembly there on the mountain from out of the fire, the cloud and the deep darkness. He added nothing more. So 
I don't know which ones might confuse you, but I'm gonna go into one, into a little bit explain, explaining what some of these verses mean. And so when God says you shall have no other God before me, this means you cannot worship or idolize anything before God once he brings you out of that. You can't worship your weed. You can't worship your bags and shoes. Come on now. That was something I had a shopping addiction. Come on, I can't worship clothes. When I come, when he brings me out, I can't worship the things I used to love or overindulge in. He is first. So my money doesn't go first towards what I want to buy. It's what the Lord wants me to do. So you should not put anything before God, not even your parents. He says to honor your parents, but he does not say to put them before what he wants from you. So God is saying, do not idolize celebrities, do not idolize influencers, do not idolize anything that you have that treasure in your heart for, your job, your career. Just kind of went over this in um, a couple of days ago in one of our my videos with the, my friend. And he's like, you should not misuse the name of the Lord, your God. And I was just talking to my friend about this, like, I hate when people use God's name in just anything. And a lot of people tend to do that because they just have no clue about God. So they just use his name, thank him and praise him when they're like, have, they know nothing about him. They know nothing about keeping his commands. They know nothing about his character. So God is like, don't misuse me or even be like, I put that on God. You know, people be doing that. God is like, don't put that on me. Don't put that on whatever you want. But that's why I'd be like, why are you bringing God to? Or some false prophets would be like, God said. Or some people would be like, God did this for me. God didn't do that for you. Like people really will misuse his name. And that's not okay. Unless God does something that aligns with his character throughout the Bible, then sure. But a lot of people they use God for what they do or they use God to excuse their sins or their feelings towards something like God told me to um, be evil towards them. God told me to like, they'll say anything. People do crazy things. And so do not misuse his name unless you have confirmation that God said this. God told me to move this way. God told me to stop talking to them because that can truly happen, but don't misuse his name in any shape or form. And so observe the Sabbath day. See, this was hard because when I was working as a hairstylist, I didn't know that we actually are supposed to take one day off at least. You are supposed to keep one day holy and honor it to God and do nothing. And so... He says, honor your father and mother. This may be hard for some people that, you know, might have had a deadbeat parent or parent doesn't get along with the child or it's just always something. And like I've said in one of my other videos, to honor just means to have respect. It doesn't mean you have to praise them or bow down at the feet, but you don't disrespect them. You don't go out your way to harm them. You don't go out your way to tear them down. You just give them the respect they're owed because they're simply your parent. And so this also allows you access to the land he's giving you. If you curse your father like, huh, look at me now, father. No, you, you're not supposed to do all that. You're supposed to be like um, just honoring them. Like, though you weren't there for me, I'm still grateful I made it because because of that, that made me who I am today. That's how you got to look at things. Because you weren't in my life, that turned me into the woman or male I was meant to be. So use everything as a blessing and honor your parents, no matter what they lacked or what they did do right. I said, God said you shall not murder. That's pretty obvious, but maybe not so much for some people. Not kill anyone. You shall not steal. I don't know how many people used to steal back in the day, but... Here's a minutes for me. 
used to be stealing guilty but i'm so glad i grew out of that phase i know i don't look like someone who used to steal but um luckily the lord blessed me to never get caught or go to jail or anything like that but and now I'll see you back. I'm like, man, that's really horrible because I could have just simply paid not only that, but I don't even feel like that's necessary. Like if I have the money, just buy it. Like just doing all that just because, just because you're getting away with it, just because it's free. And you see as kids, it's just really sad that um, you kind of just, I don't want to use the word thrive, but you get excited off the fact that you're getting away with something. I don't know if anyone feels like that, has ever felt like that. Like you're just happy you got away with it and you feel like you're benefiting from it. Now I'm not gonna steal just to not have nothing, but you still, because you just want extra. Sometimes it's about being greedy. So you shall not steal because God will provide all your needs. He gives you everything you need and more so you don't feel the need to steal if you needed food if you needed clothes if you need anything he will provide that for you so i love that that was ended quickly before it got out of hand you shall not commit adultery you shall not give false testimony we got we got to stop lying i don't know who's still lying out there but we got to stop i know i used to lie too and sometimes, you know, you use the excuse as a white, a little white lie. I, I still kind of struggle with that because you're like, oh, it's not really a lie, but it's not the truth. So white lies, I hate to break it to everybody. White lies is still lying. So we're called to end all lies, whether they're white, black, blue or brown. And so you shall not convey your neighbor's wife or set your desires on what your neighbor has this is just simply like not wanting someone's boyfriend not wanting someone's girlfriend don't want their car don't want their shoes don't want their life people will convey everything in instagram i've said this also in another video that it makes it too easy to do that you see celebrities living lavish and grand and you start to want their life not knowing that maybe God has a different life for you. It won't look like theirs. It's not supposed to because we're all individuals. So ask God for the plans he has for your life and stop mourning what someone else has because maybe God got something bigger and better for you. So don't want their car. Don't want their clothes. Don't want their shoes. Don't want their dog. Don't want anything. Don't want their job. It, their position. Some people will want your position. Don't want that don't want to be someone else want to be who god created you to be this is a big commandment because he will give you the land flowing with milk and honey when you realize that if you don't if you don't if you stop wanting what everyone else has you will want more for yourself stop looking around and start looking in Look within and look to God and he will give you the desires of your heart that are for you, not what you see on the gram, not what you see on TikTok, on Twitter. So I love you guys and I hope you guys have a blessed day and know that I obey these commands and I'm entering the promised land. If I'm not already in it, I believe I, I am in it. And in your promised land, it flows. I'm in a flow of things. So when you just learn to obey God, I'm not saying like just like that, you're going to cut off maybe your thief. I'm not saying you just go overnight, stop stealing. But with God, anything is, is possible if you believe. So God is calling us today that everything will go well with you. You don't have to worry. Your security will be in God as long as you obey his commandments. Please go over these, write these, and impress them on your brain so that you, your kids' kids will go well with this. Your land will always be sweet. That's what milk and honey is, a combination of sweetness and the color of milk is white, so it's pure. You're going to be in a flow of things that just feels so right. 
So I love you guys. Have a great day.